exception of our downtown district. <laughs> and um, I think people are always kind of a little bit surprised when you say that. It's like, no, the only place you really can't skateboard, you can't skateboard on our roads, <laughs> and you can't skateboard in the downtown area. Um, but unfortunately, that's where it seems to be where everybody wants to skateboard. Um, and um, one of the things that will be good for to have is, you know, what we have now is when you have a police officer or someone come up to with someone who's skateboarding in a, in a restricted area or who's skateboarding in, in a place that's unsafe, um, they have no place to send that person, you know, and so it feels as though they can't skateboard anywhere. Um, so I think this will provide a little bit of an opportunity for the police um, to send a skateboarder somewhere. Um, so I do believe that um, this is a project that can happen. I do believe I'll, I'm going to see it happen. I, I do believe that we'll probably see it happen before he's able to skateboard. Um, but, <laughs> but again, I think it all comes back to how much does, do the citizens of this town really want this um, and how much um, are they willing to put that desire to have this into action? And how much are they willing to put their, um, to reach into their pocketbooks and say, yep, we really, we're gonna put our money where our mouth is, this is important to us. So, I hope that happens. Thanks. I have a question in relation to money, and that is how much money needs to be raised from the 